Friday, everybody. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. I'm ready to go right now. It's my Grandma Sugar's um, Vegetable Soup. Now, the title is, is a little deceiving. Uh, it was a vegetable soup, yes, chock full of vegetables, tomatoes that she grew in her own garden um, across the field from her house. Uh, fresh okra that she also grew, um, just delicious, fresh, beautiful ingredients. And she put them all in her soup. And I swear it seemed like, it seemed like it took her a week to make the soup. Make the soup. Oh, <laughs> but so worth it. So this one, I took a shortcut. I'm going I'm to just be straight up. Okay. I started the soup yesterday. And that was with my... Um, remember I showed you those little baby... So the stuff that I posted the other day, the oxtails and all that stuff from the, from the farmer's market, you need those clips in order to follow me tonight. Okay. Um, so yeah, I started this pot like a base for the soup. So it's um, tomatoes. It really looks like a soup. I, I can just show you. It, it looks like the freaking soup. And you go, well, isn't that the soup? Uh, that's it. Right. Whoa. I swear. That's the soup. Okay. Um, lots of um, veggies. I got the beans. I got the corn. Not the corn. I didn't put the corn yet. Got the beans, the okra, excuse me, the oxtails. Yes, the oxtails. And I got a piece of um what made my grandmother soup so special. Oh was that it was chock full of vegetables and juicy to the beef. But she put some that um she put some fat back in there if she had it. Uh a piece of smoked ham, some salt pork, and put it in there, and let me tell you, mm, tenderizes all the beef, because the fat that's coming off of the, the, the oxtail is going into the ham, and oh my goodness, it's so, ooh, 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 so I did that here, so you got your, your, um, it looks like a soup. I I started eating some of it already, and I was like, "Hold on, you gotta save some for the for the soup." So what we're gonna do tonight? Um, I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna try to make it make it quick enough so that you're not bored on this Friday night. So you wouldn't tune into me. Um, so we will. I got this new kind of stock pot Dutch oven thingy situation. So I'm going to turn this up and what I'm going to do is start to saute my veggies, my potatoes. Oh, so I started, of course, cutting this up earlier so I wouldn't keep you too long. Sorry about that. Here you go. Um, got my carrots, my onions diced up, my celery, and um, my potatoes. Now, Grandma used to use just the white potatoes at the field. Yeah, it's a little starchy for me. So I'm not using it. Instead, I'm using a red russet potato. And I just dice it up kind of small so that it doesn't take, see, that's, uh, it doesn't take forever to cook in the soup. Taste the soup oh, right now. Thank you all for watching. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and I'm making my grandmother's vegetable soup tonight. It's chock full of vegetables and meat pork and beef and all kinds of stuff but uh, tonight I pay homage to Mary Sugar Isaac honey so all I'm going to do is kind of cut the kernels away uh, from my corn and it's so sweet y'all I was I, took, I ate a piece of it raw at the farmer's market it was so sweet and delicious and good and I couldn't help myself so this is probably really dangerous to be doing, so don't do as I do. Just be careful. Oh, honey, honey! I'll put some more corn in there. Don't worry. You put them all in there. Oh my goodness, that looks... 
looks and smells so good. That corn, it's good. It's sweet. I had some early. Mm. Yes, it's a raw corn because it's good, it's delicious and sweet, and I can, and I did, I pretty much did, like, just now. Alright, so you got your base one here in this pot, separately from your base. Please know that I'm not going to give you all my grandmother's secrets, but... This is something that you end up with when you start cooking those vegetables down. All right, I'm gonna cover that for a second. Cover it for just a moment and I'm gonna start on the hot water cornbread. Let's do it. I'm gonna get some water going here in my teapot because I'm only making a little bit. I'm not a bread eater, but I remember that when my grandma made the soup, uh, every time I say that, I keep thinking, taste the soup. How, how am I going to taste the soup? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Alright. Let me move that over. Let's get some uh, some cornbread going here. Now this, the cornbread up that I'm doing, it's a really simple, really um, unpretentious. Like it, it's, it's just cornbread. Like if you were out of everything and you still put it together, Together, like you the bomb that kind of form it's just it's quick simple easy no fuss no muss you know no no tricks and twirls it's just how we're corn it okay so it's gonna be real simple it's gonna be real easy um, but you gotta watch me you gotta let the pot boil for about six minutes okay and then we'll get started with the cornbread now, I am going to do a little something to my cornbread that some might find a little weird, but I don't really care. It's, um, it's how I want to do it. So, we're we going to try that out. Alright, so. Mm. Keep running. I watched. What did I watch? Okay, here we Dion Cole's stand-up special uh, on Netflix. Dion Cole is crazy funny. I was like, who is who? No idea. But yeah, it's called Cole Hearted. C-O-L-E Hearted. It's really good. It's stupid. Mmm. Very good. Mm. Delicious. For the hot water corn I'm going to get a little bit of oil in this pan. Now, understand, I'm not a bread eater. I don't even like food, fried foods. But this is a must-have with my grandmother's vegetable soup. So, I'm going to do it. Um, and I need to more than coat the bottom of this pan with with some oil it's a blended oil um but it's oil nonetheless so you know that ain't good for me i understand however one time i don't eat bread a lot i don't eat fried foods a lot this is just i need a taste of home right now a taste of home so if you're just tuning in for those of you thank you for joining me 
on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live here on Facebook. You can also watch <clears throat> past videos of shows that I've done here on my website at www.sugarpearlsonline.com or, or you can go to YouTube at Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. Please tune in, like, subscribe, share, 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 share. If you know somebody who eats food, tell them to go look, subscribe, share. Come on. Come on. Now I'm going to do my cornbread. I'm going to do a teeny little batter because I don't like. So for my cornbread, let me do a little bit of a... Uh, plain cornmeal and a little bit of self-rising flour okay it's gonna be a very corny cornbread very corny I'm using more cornmeal than I am flour okay now if you're doing like a cornbread dressing or something um, you might want to use almost equal portions of flour and cornmeal but in this case I want a cone breeze, so I'm going to do more corn, okay? All right, so, like I said, a very small batter. I'm looking for a larger bowl. I see it. I'm, I'm going to use this one. All right, so for, let me do this. Probably... Probably the one time when you're going to see me try to measure something. <laughs> it's when I'm going to measure this cornbread. So I'm going to do two cornmeal. Two whatever you're using. I don't know. Two cups. Two saucers. Two. Two. Whatever. Just two of them. Because I don't know. That's two. Okay. That's two of, of what I'm using, which is a serving spoon. And you only want to do almost one, not even one, whole one. Almost one. Let me hope I get it right. Get it right. There we go. That's a little more than I want, but it'll do. It'll do for now. All right. Getting the water boiled. Because for the hot water cornbread, you want your water to be hot. Okay? It's going to be real hot. And then, while that's heating up, let me show you what's happening with our soup. Okay. So, my veggies have... Ooh, that was hot. That was extremely hot. The veggies have started to kind of um, sweat. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. See my potatoes, my carrots, my celery, my onion, vegetables, real vegetables. Let me tell you, it smells so good for you. Oh, all right. Right now, I'm gonna. For my base base into veggies all right I can't show it to you while I and hold the camera at the same time like just hang on <laughs> hang on now yeah that looks so good Okay, and I'm turning the eye back on. Now I just want it to stew. Let me show you what's happening. So you don't think I'm keeping any too many secrets from you. Okay. So that's, I know, it, it's a lot. It's a lot to contend with. But once I pour the rest of those tomatoes in there, let that cook. 
I know. I know. See, you got a, a, a real live legit soup from my grandmother. Okay. When I tell you it was chunky and didn't miss nothing. And look, look at this. This that's freaking unbelievable. Look at the soup. Look at that. Tell me you don't want that. Tell me you don't want that right now. What? What? Are you crazy, son? Get out of here. You know you want that soup. You know you do. Why? Because it's delicious. It's going to be amazing. So now I'm going to let that stew for the next. I'm gonna give it about 15 and I'm gonna look at it and see what it's doing, okay? Oh, come on, man. Can't tell me you don't want this soup. What? Okay, oh, the hot water is boiled. It's spilling out of itself. That's cool. I'm scared to pour it in this glass bowl. What if it breaks on camera? And then I have to stop the whole broadcast because I just bludgeoned myself. Hang on. It's, it's got to be something better than this. I know. <laughs> I got it. I know this can hold up. I hope anyway. Lord, I hope. Jesus, I hope. Jesus, Jesus. All right. I'm going to try this. Pray for me. Pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, please don't let this hot water burn me or crack the bowl. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, regular iodized salt. I don't know how much. Just a little palm full. Just you know what I mean. It's something like that, anyway. And uh, I'm gonna do a, a pinch, a pinch, a pinch. <laughs> Grandmommy, I'm gonna do a pinch of sugar. Just a pinch. I don't want to taste it like Jiffy Mix, but I do want a, a hint of sweetness to it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold the horses. Hold the horses. Oh, goodness gracious. That is. I feel like I need an egg. I need an egg. I want it to. I smell it too. Ooh, that cornmeal is cooking, baby. It is cooking. The cornmeal is literally cooking itself. All right. Okay, okay. Just trust me. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know it's got to turn out right. Okay, so I got my little. I'm. I'm not making a lot of these. I don't want a lot. I don't need any. But I just want to taste it. So I got my a pinch of sugar, some salt. I'm gonna do. I know. I. Um, probably gonna miss. I don't know. I'm gonna do a brown egg. I just wanna. I just wanna see. Cause I think what I'm gonna do to it might work. It just might work. Mm. And a dollop of sour cream. I know. I love it though. 
just a little bit in my corn in my corn i put it in my cornbread anyway but for these yeah boo oh yeah i think that egg made it a little loose didn't make it too loose. I'm going to add a little. I don't know how much that will. Okay, but I got to balance out the looseness from this. Um... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done the egg. The soup is fine. Did I tell you the soup is fine? That's what I'm going to do. I am. I'm going to just fry these babies. Yeah. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to just. I'm going to just fry. Okay. All right. Welcome, welcome. Y'all just tuning in? It is a 7 o'clock show now. Sugar Bell Studio Kitchen Live. That's right. That's right. That's right. I always appreciate you tuning in to the show. Checking the old country girl out. Seeing what she up to. And uh, I really do. Like I really do appreciate that. I want you to tell your friends. Make sure they watch too. All right. Uh, tonight on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, we're doing my grandmom sugar, um, sugar's vegetable soup. Now, the name is a little deceiving because there's a whole lot of meat in it, but it takes a couple of days to make. I took two days, she'll take more, but look. That's my hard look. Saying, you know you want it. Yeah, you know you do. This is... I'm going to let that um, soup stew some more. And I'm getting ready to put down my hot water pancakes. Pancakes. Corn cakes. Cornbread. Hot water cornbread. Here we go. Before we do that, you know, wipe my area. Keep tidy. Always keep a nice, tidy kitchen as you cook. You find that uh, your food actually tastes better. No lie. Legit, your food tastes a whole lot better when your kitchen clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clean up after yourself. Wipe down the stove. Don't have no nasty stove and dishes piled all up in the sink. And don't do that. Mm -mm. Keep it nice and neat. All right, this ain't gonna work out because I should be able to mold the um. See, it's too loose. I I should bake it, but mm -mm. I don't feel like all that right now. All I do, I think I'm gonna just make fritters. Just do fritters. Turn it up. Oh my gosh, y'all! I can't believe y'all are watching this mess. Oh, I told you it's a live show and live ish happens and sometimes things just don't work out. You need to stop being so petty. Sometimes things don't work out, you know, it's a live show. <laughs> I know you're petty, right? Queen Petty right here. Uh -huh. Petty LaBelle, Petty Pendergrass, all of them. Ooh, wait. Y'all. Tomorrow. 
tomorrow, I will be celebrating 45 years of being on planet Earth. Oh my goodness. Planet Earth. Like, who knew? And the more I, um, you know, it's so funny. Me thinking about um, turning, hey, hey, Auntie Claude. But we make lemonade, lemonade. Hey, Sissy Brittany. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> we do, you know, we, we make lemonade, child. We make good stuff happen out of nothing. We do. So when I look back at, you know, the 44 years that I had and now approaching 45, it's like, I, um, I did a lot. I saw a lot. I experienced a lot. I had a lot of gains. I had some losses. Um, but I can still count it all joy. I really can. Like, no fronting. Like, I'm really Really, really 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 irritated sometimes with things and be like I got I'm working on it but I am quite grateful this it's been extraordinary it really really has I am Glad I got to see you, child. Ah, I'm just glad. <laughs> what you talking about, Aunt Claudette? You the one. You the inspiration. I'm the bomb. You. <sighs> All day. Come on now. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I'm um. I'm excited. Yeah. This is pretty cool ish. It really is. Like, oh my god. I'm 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 good. I, I'm coming into my own. I really am. I think something happened with women after 40. What happens with women after 40? Thanks, Don Simber. Hug you, love you back. <laughs> Talk to me. Sisters, what? Mm. I can't. I, I won't say all the things that I might say. You know, if it was just me and me and you talking just one-on-one. -on -one, but on live, like, no. But what happens to women after 40? Um... I'm enjoying growing. I really am. I don't consider it growing old or anything like that. I'm really enjoying it. Maybe too much. Even with my flaws and stuff, I look at myself in the mirror in the morning. I'm just like, <laughs> you need to get it together. Um, but I'm okay. Like I'm okay with my stuff. I know I got a little too much stuff around the mirror. Section. I know that. I don't need for you to tell me that. I know I need a crown in the back. I don't. I am perfectly aware of all of my flaws. I am. I'm okay with them. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to tell people, child, when they come into You know what? I don't need for you to point stuff out. I already know where I'm deficient. Oh, yeah, I need for you to keep it real. But oh, man, you always find out what's wrong. No. Get you some encouragers, some motivators. You know, not just somebody that's going to fill your pipe dreams or whatever. But, you know, some. get you a squad. Get you a tribe. Get you some cheerleaders or something. I got them. I appreciate it. And I hope that I'm somebody's cheerleader, too. Because we all need them. We really do. But, 
um, yeah, I'm, uh, 45 is looking good. 45 is looking good. That's, I'm going I'm to just keep it real. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I know my stuff. I know all my stuff, honey. Yeah. Sometimes um, people can make you feel, um, can attempt to make you feel small. I won't say that they can, they do or don't. Uh, that part is up to you. But people uh, will attempt to make you small. And I, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you fall for it, um, then you are no good to anyone, let alone yourself. Like I say, don't don't cheat people of your gift, honey. I'm gonna make a couple more. Yo, I got to show you these uh, little hot water corn fritters. That's what I'm calling them, cause cause they frittery. They're frittery. That is so crazy. Oh my goodness, y'all. Let me show you. Look at my fritters. This is the hot water corn fritters. Go ahead. You can tell me how pretty it is. You can go ahead. I'm waiting. Hot water corn fritter. Hey Sheila. Y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to smash again. Tell you a girl be eating good in a hood, balling on a budget. Yeah, yeah. My mom asked me the other day. I told her I said, um, "Oh, I was leaving the store." I said, "Well, my God, you go to the store every day." And like for folks that live like in cities or near metropolitan areas, like we. Probably stop by the grocery store or some sort of outlet for you know for food and basic resources and stuff like that almost every day just because it's so accessible. What she don't know is I'm really buying the same thing with ten times at one dollar each. Like I ain't I ain't just balling out when I go to the store. Like I'm I'm calculating stuff. She don't appreciate my calculation. Oh, you get somebody that's going to boost you up. <laughs> you better. Mommy's supposed to encourage me. Somebody. I hear talking about you broke and you at the store every day. Ooh, say that, mother. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, when this, um, when I plate the, uh, oh, my goodness. When I plate the soup. I'm going to show you how tender these oxtails are because like I said, I started cooking them yesterday and then I started again today to cook it down for hours, hours, and hours. When I tell you I can smell grandma's kitchen right now, this is, this is crazy. And in this soup, I we've got... Let me, let me check the cornbread real quick. Huh? I want you to see what's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Grandma sugar. Grandma sugar. In the wintertime, um, mom used to... Dad was working crazy hours at BD in Sumter. Mom was starting her business uptown with a beauty shop, and she'd have to work late a lot of times. Dad may have to work overnight till the morning, depending on the shift. And even in all those years, even in, in them trying to uh, attend to their dreams and still support a young growing family it it 
amazes me to this day that we still never missed a meal. We still went to school every day. We still have friends. And we still found time to talk to each other and have dinner together. But even if we couldn't, when we got off that bus and knew mom and dad weren't home yet, we went straight to Grandma Sugar House and she had a pot of good old vegetable soup on the stove with a whole lot of meat, some okra, some tomatoes out the field, some potatoes that she diced up. I swear, every single dice was pretty damn near perfection, like the same size on every dice. She was so meticulous about how she chopped everything to go inside the soup. So uh, I tried. I tried. I I just I just hope it comes close, honey. Cause that right there, looking forward to that soup was everything. <laughs> it really was. It really was. Okay, so I'm gonna let that finish up. And now I think I'm getting ready to have some vegetable soup. And hot water corn fritta. Yes. Mm-hmm. Suck a tash. <laughs> Man. The days. Now we used to hate it when we used to have to help her pick like peas and beans and all of that stuff. But she always made time. She always made time, and she was a strict woman. Um, she and my grandma Perlene, very strict, very stoic. But when we would sit on the porch, snapping beans, every now and then she would glance over just to make sure we were doing it just right. And she would look over every now and then. And she, she may just kind of nod, but you weren't getting more, more recognition than that. She going to nod like, mm-hmm, good job. Like I said, very stoic, very strict. Um, but even in those moments, somehow very proud to see uh, her grandchildren carrying on a legacy of great food so that's why tonight i just decided on the day before my 45th birthday i would make my grandma sugars vegetable soup all right now inside this soup and get ready to play up <laughs> i got a whole lot of vegetables <laughs> you should have been on in the beginning then you would know Simple as that. You would know then. And voila. Let me show you. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm about to give y'all my vertigo. Oh my goodness. I know. Don't inbox me. Somebody gonna tell me how awful that was. That was trash. Why did you tilt that camera like that? This soup is crazy, man. And I got some oxtails and I got a piece of ham in there too. A nice piece of fatty ham. It's a small, small little piece, but I put it in there and some hot water cornbread frita. Mm-hmm. We gotta have some cornbread with our soup. Boop. All right, so here we go. Let's play it. Now, I left a lot of my vegetables kind of chunky, but I also diced up some pretty good as well because, uh, you know, I want to be able to. Oh, Lord, look at that tail. I got to be able to show you that oxtail. And show you how tender it is. I had a piece earlier that thing fell off 
the bone in my mouth. Yes. And a piece of cornbread. Hot water. That's it. Hot water, cornmeal, self rising flour, little sugar, little salt. Bye bye. Oh, and sour cream. Just a dollar. Just a dollar for sour cream. To a dollar. Mm. Okay, hold on. Woo! Chair. I need to be able to show you the... Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Celery. Fresh corn. I shucked it and then I peeled the corn kernels in the soup um, when I was cooking it. You got cornbread? Yes, I do. I did a quick hot water cornbread um, fritter right here. Yes, you. Come on now. Mm. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Come on, somebody. Mm -mm. That bread shouldn't be that good. I feel like Oprah. I love bread. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, I'm not making no more of that. Because next time y'all see me. Oh my God. Look, look at that. Look at that. Hot water corn fritter. Mm. Got red beans in your red beans. Fresh corn. Whole tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Yesterday I started the base of my tomato paste, some veggies. And the meats, the the ham and the oxtail, girl. <laughs> woo -hoo! Pat's about to catch the Holy Spirit, honey. It done caught me. It done caught me. Oh my God! Woo -hoo! Mm. It's so light and fluffy. Oh my goodness. And y'all saw, I didn't use a lot of salt. I had a little palm full of salt. And I did that much sugar right there. That, that much, because I don't measure nothing, but I know it was that much sugar in there. And that was it. And some sour cream. That sour cream give it that almost cake like te texture. It's so, oh, wee. Yep. I mixed up the cornbread first, and then after I got it creamy, I put an egg and I put a dollar of sour cream in it. Mm -hmm. Y'all getting all the goodies. Look at this. You should not be getting all these goodies. All my grandmother's secrets, that is, on the show. I just got to show you the soup. That, that right there, that's, that's soup. That's what sugar called it anyway. All kind of meat and ham and God knows whatever else you could find the chunk in there. She just did. And God, were we grateful. Mmm. Oh my God. Mm. Sha. Oh. I want to show you the oxtail though. 
You hold on. Let me, let me. I need to take it out so it can cool off. I'm gonna cool it off and I'm gonna show you. And then I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna eat because y'all, this is an interruption. Mmm. 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 This is truly delicious. And for the nights and days that we've been having lately, it's fitting. We've got a delicious vegetable soup here. You can do it with meat or without. Mine has meat because that's what my grandmother used to do. And um, look at that. I know. I know. I'm trying to cool my ox, my little baby oxtail off. <laughs> you just gotta see how tender they were, yo. I'm telling you. That's why you gotta. When this show is over, you gotta go back one more show, go back and look at the other show, and I'll tell you. This is a show the promo. I can't remember where I tell you. Um, I got the pictures up about what I've added for the base for the suit. And then I just finished it up with you today. But that's all. You don't need to. Y'all, it's cold. I'm tired. I just want to get on the couch. And I just want to, like, cuddle with myself. I'm, mm, I'm booing myself up tonight. For real, for real. The soup. Chad. Mmm. Oh, God. It's still hot, but I gotta, I gotta show you. Mm. I gotta show you. I'm not eating no more of that bread. That cornbread is the devil. The absolute devil. What was I thinking? Making some good old cornbread fritter, hot water corn fritter. What was I thinking? My little baby oxtail, look at that. Mm-hmm. I know. Y'all, fellas, you know I gotta give y'all. I gotta tell you that if you ain't, if you ain't got a woman that's gonna eat all of it, and she got look, I got a piece of gristle. Throw her away. Throw her out. Just throw the whole relationship out. She need to be able to clean the bones. I just want one more look, okay? One more look. Hold on, huh? Y'all. This is scratch. This is not canned anything. This is... Let me tell you. And I ate all the meat off that oxtail. I'm pretty awesome. Yeah. Alright, um, that's gonna be it for now. Alright, so join me back here next Friday. I don't know what I'm cooking, but whatever the case is, we're gonna have a good old time doing it together.